Welcome to episode 62 of the Friday Fizz. This week we have a raft of cock-ups, a 15-year-old takes Twitter by storm, and Dave pulls a sickie. Today, Sam's going to lead, because I've got tonsillitis. I'm, well, I think I might have the requisite skills. <laughs> what do you reckon, lads? Changes up to it? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> hey. You just keep an eye on uh, managing your own stalls. What do you reckon, ladies? Reckon he's up to it? Don't ask no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, of course I am. It's menial work. So, big news this week. There's, uh, oh, shit. I mean, there's been a couple of big cock-ups this week, so I can't really compete with them. As long as I don't cock up as badly as Mo Farah. He was at the U2 gig the other night, <laughs> and Noel Gallagher was supporting. Um, famously Liam Gallagher slated him for it for supporting you two so Mo Farah gets a photo and tweets it saying nice to meet you last night Liam Gallagher <laughs> and it was clearly a picture of Noel everyone <laughs> knows the difference between Noel and Liam what the fuck was he doing well Liam Gallagher replied to it yeah no it's not right, that <laughs> nice to meet you too oh well done good little pun there Liam but, <laughs> Liam's yeah. uh, Liam's well funny I really like him it was funny I was surprised he played along with it but yeah. it, was, it was good so yeah, that was, that was cock-up number one of the week. Yeah. And then um, the other one, something that I was looking out for, Lukaku signing for Man United. Um, the Irish Times, for some reason, couldn't be bothered finding a, or waiting for a photo of Lukaku in a, a Man United training kit. So they picked out Stormzy, the, um, <laughs> the musician Stormzy, in a Man United kit and, uh, and printed that full page on the back paper. Back of the paper. I mean, what what goes through your mind where you think we won't wait for the official ones? He must be a, he must be pictured somewhere in a Man United top. No, he's an Everton player. Why would they have a picture of him in Man United top? I don't know. And when you Google it, surely it's obvious that it's not Lukaku. It's Stormzy. Like, where are they sourcing their images from for it to be that mixed up? Probably Google. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone's just having a laugh on Wikipedia. Yeah. So they're they're two major cock ups this week. So we yeah. can't go as bad as them. No. What um, else we got then? Well, this week Southern Rail, so famously oh, yeah, saw this, yeah. terrible Southern Rail, yeah. that gets slated on social media. Like I would estimate ninety percent of their posts or, or tweets are negative. Mm-hmm. They decided to put a work experience guy on. How old is he? Fifteen, sixteen year old Eddie, and they put him in charge of their Twitter account. I so mean, it was a ballsy move. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. And fair play to Eddie for taking the challenge, because he must have researched Southern Rail and seen just how crap they were. And he must have known what he was in for. But yeah, then people were asking, what should I have for tea? Should I have chicken for heaters? He replied to them all. So he did a really good job. Like, if he was there for an interview, or if they're thinking of offering him a job, then fair play. He's he's earned it. So I I think think that's a, a... I mean, the positive PR that they've had out of it is incredible, isn't it? It's, yeah. Um, it was a really good move, to be honest. They couldn't go wrong. It couldn't get any worse, could it? No. Um, the mess that they're already in. So yeah, putting that guy in charge, at least people sympathised with him, even if they hate the brand. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair play. And fair play, Eddie. No serious news in terms of social media-wise. Facebook are pushing more adverts our way. In case we didn't have enough adverts in our feed, they found another way of doing it. Um, so if you scroll through Facebook you're probably bored of seeing the adverts so now they're just going to cram it into one of their other apps which is Messenger I think we mentioned it months ago that they were testing it Mm. so they're trialling it worldwide starting today pretty much they're starting to roll it out when you log into Messenger or when you open it up it'll be on the the home page of Messenger so where you see all your chat boxes yeah yeah Um, the ads will start appearing there Mm. so they can't be that intrusive because think of a phone screen and if they want to show any of the app, yeah. they can't well, really... I've, I've started much. noticing the uh, Instagram story ads now uh, mm. a little bit more. And, and actually, I think they're really subtle because they do allow you to skip straight away. Yeah. I have no problem with them whatsoever. And, um, and it's just like TV ads at the yeah. end of the day. It's and I like, actually watch one. Yeah. I, I skip, I've skipped like 50 and yeah. I've watched one, but because it was relevant to me. Yeah. And to be fair, I always skip it, but Moretti beer yeah. comes up every other night for me. I always skip it, but Moretti, I still see the logo pop up. Do you like Moretti? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Colour Dash. Yes, I had fun on Wednesday. Um, we went down to film a new video for Burnley Colour Dash. Cool. Um, I'm usually safe behind the camera, where I can hide, direct people. But this time I, had, I got involved. 
I saw the picture, it looked good. Yeah, got covered in paint. So, got my jeans and my shoes to wash now. But it's good fun. There's gonna be like 2,000 people running yeah. around Thompson Park or walking around, getting covered in paint, having a laugh, having a pint with your mates afterwards. Yeah. So I definitely recommend signing up. I think, I think the thing that people probably aren't aware is that there's a whole f***ing festival thing. It's a whole day. On. Yeah, right, yeah there's, there's all sorts going on. And it's for lads as well. I think a lot of people think it's just for girls, uh, just for women. But um, no, lads, lads, lads. it's, it's going to be it's going to be a big day for the whole family. Gary V. Yeah, Chris Fuster asked us a question. Just what our thoughts are on Gary V. Gary yeah. Vaynerchuk, and I don't know. I think we have mentioned him in the past. I imagine, but we're, we're yeah. fans. We're fans of Gary V. If everybody who's watching this actually did something about it, and then went on the course of their version of it, then they wouldn't be watching this. And I genuinely know at the bottom of my heart, out of all the people that want to build audiences, that I'm the complete opposite of almost all of them. Because 99% of people that produce content like this that are out there like I am, the business of being that is what they are. I have businesses. I have Wine Library and VaynerMedia. I don't need your 14 bucks for my book or to be in my course or this and that. So I don't need to monetize you. So I then genuinely want you to never watch me again. He's ace, he's controversial, he swears a lot, he shouts a lot, he does loads of vlogs, um, he's real, he works like the shit off something else. He and uh, yeah, he's a proper grafter, he's mm. real, he gives you proper advice. Um, still, for me, still a bit like he's up here. I wanted to see him when he were down here, which is what we try and do with this whole fizz thing, is that we ain't made it, we ain't f***ing rich, we ain't got X, Y, and Z yet. But we're gonna f-ing guarantee it. But mm. nobody was there to record him when he was down no, there. No, that's it. And that's, yeah. that's why I think it's interesting times. But I mean, Gary Vee does try and take it back. He brings some real experience mm. to it, doesn't he? And to be fair, he's a multimillionaire. He's got as much money as you could wish for, I imagine. Yeah. Much wealth, yet he's still grafting harder than 99% Lots of business people jets. across the world. So, Lots yeah, exactly. New York Jets. Yeah, if your goal is to buy a, a football team, then it's. American football team. Yeah, American football. Just clarify that. Uh, right, can you come and sit here for a topic? Because um, my throat is f***ing killing. Oh. oh, hello there. This is Mrs. Cooper, Simon's mother, year 12. Simon and his friend Winnie McKenzie have come down with food poisoning. Must have been for the chicken. Tennis, obviously disappointing last couple of days for British tennis. Yeah. Uh, Andy Murray, though, with the biggest headline. With, uh, the, uh, with the American tennis player thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Andy, Sam is the first U.S. player to reach a major semi-final since 2009. How would you describe male the... Male player. <coughs> I beg your pardon? Male player, right? Yes. Yeah. First male player. <laughs> That's for sure. He's done it before. <laughs> it's, it's well. good. Yeah. He's done a similar thing before, I can't remember who it was, but he's, yeah. done a, he's a, pro, a very strong advocate of the... Yeah, equality. I'm assuming the, yeah, ensuring the women's game gets yeah. what it deserves. Nah. Do you think there should be equal pay even though they play less? Yes, because of the same draw. As in, like, the same amount of tickets are sold for the women's game at Wimbledon, as a case in point, mm. as so for the men's game. Which is why I think it's different for men's and women's football, obviously, because men's football brings in a lot more money. Yeah. So you can understand why it pumps out a lot more money. Yeah. I mean, they um, argued the day, because I think out of the eight matches that were played in the day, um, well, on, on centre court or something, mm. six of them were the male. Oh, yeah. It it's, usually two, oh. it's usually a 2 1 yeah. ratio, isn't it? It's usually two men's to one women's. Yeah. Thanks for watching this week's Friday Fizz. Don't forget to like, comment and share and let us know in the comments who you think the real star of the Friday Fizz is. Right. You're a fan as well, aren't you? This is the best that you've got. I've got to ask, this is what you do, you ask me a question and I respond. Yeah, and then Otherwise I it's literally just me talking down the camera. That's usually what I do every week. I don't want to do it, I'm sick of hearing my own voice.